Really? Really? Freaking right there. That dude was right there. Oh well. You know, for the longest time, and I mean years, I always assumed this was actually a hostile character. And I would go way out of my way to avoid the conflict. And then... Well, that dude for real is hostile. But I would go out of my way to avoid that thing. And I mean, I would wander off into the jungle to get off the road and away from that character. And... Sometimes it would end up getting me killed just to avoid getting flagged for PvP in such a hostile zone. I find out recently that, yeah, that, that character won't attack you unless you attack first, even though it's red. How does that not just show up as yellow? I'm on a MacBook. Not my real PC. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey, Tuli, what's going on? Oh, wait. She's messing with her speakers. I see her muting, unmuting, randomly doing things to her sound. I see everything but speaking happening. Wait. What about now? Oh, there we go. Oh there my gosh, go, I've been talking to myself this whole time, too. Because <laughs> you're well, talking about hostile people, and I'm like, I am not. No, <laughs> <laughs> no uh, Samantha Swifthoof, <laughs> that horrid NPC that walks around the trails on uh, Stranglethorn. Yes. Remember how we used to always be so afraid of her? Oh, yeah. Like, oh no, I don't want a level 40 to start wailing on me, and especially flagging me for PvP. Uh, go off the road and run around to avoid. And I laugh every time I see her because it's like, oh, she's not aggressive. But then why is she red? She should be yellow if it's optional. Like, that's supposed to be a dead giveaway that that's going to attack you when it's red. And there's no <laughs> other character that's been like that either. Like, I, I don't know... It feels like that's just a bugged thing, and it was never addressed. Uh, who's the person? Uh, so the person talking is Thule. She's a guildmate of mine. Long-time friend. Well met. Be careful. So, Thule, as you can tell, I'm streaming. <laughs> no, not you. Is, uh, is Mora going to be joining us in this chat, or is she... Well, her computer died, and she was using a Windows computer. Now she's resorting to a Mac laptop that she absolutely hates. I am in your and debt. And can't really do a lot on it, so I don't think she has Discord on it. Okay. Oh, did you see um, Phasmophobia's one-year anniversary today? They have a new update out. Oh, no. My daughter was watching, um, oh, I don't know how to say it, um, she was watching some streams, <laughs> I don't know if she was watching yours, but <laughs> she likes, she's an avid watcher of streams, and she's like, oh my god, if we thought it was scary before, it's been, it's even worse now. <laughs> oh yeah, you haven't played any of the new update stuff, have you? No, and she said there's <laughs> some creepy crawly ghost that uh -huh. crawls on the ground and you can't hide in the same place twice oh you can it has a but he'll find you well right? if if it knows where you are it has a 50 percent chance to check that area again first so it could try your locker but um as long as you're quiet, it's okay. But here's the the extra rub is now your electronic devices will give you away. Oh, let's just let's lead on. Let me see. Where are we going? She just oh, yeah, likes she, pretty much the social. She doesn't need anything that I'm doing. Yeah, she's just along for the ride. Uh, 
Yeah, so your electronics will give you away, so you have to actually turn off your flashlight before you go into the locker or closet. Uh-huh. And also other devices that are in your inventory, like if you have the video camera with you, you can't turn it off, so you have to drop it. Same with a photo camera. Those will oh. both give you away. If they're in your inventory, you're just dead. Oh, my gosh. If the spirit box is on and in your hand, that'll give you away. Like, ugh. Yeah, no, no, I <laughs> said I'd be dead right away. And also, it's proximal. So your stuff doesn't start flickering when a hunt happens. It happens only when the hunt is occurring and you are within 10 me I think it's 10 meters of the ghost. So you could be wandering around in a big map or even just at the other, like if you're on the wrong floor from the ghost on a small map, um, you have no idea that a hunt started unless you hear that front door lock. Yikes. So you can get way in trouble. Also, um, now your your standard speed is the speed that your sprint used to be. And that's oh. just your walking speed, so you are moving quicker now. But you now have a sprint which gives you a three second burst to go even faster, and then you get you you like run out of stamina and you get tired and it takes five seconds to recover from that. So you get these speed bursts. And they've upgraded all of the visuals to um, all the equipment except for the sound sensor. That one still looks the same, but everything else got a boost. And they rolled wow. the um, IR sensor, motion sensor, and the regular motion sensor in together so it's all one thing. So it both lights up and tells the truck when it's going off. And then they buffed the paramic huge, but then they said no no that was a bug that was too much and they took it away so it was amazing tool for a little while and then it became worthless again because oh, you for a while you could find the ghost room with the paramic like that was the go-to starting tool you could just go find it based on the sound there was a steady sound of a specific level that you could always find it with great now i got reinforcements and that freaking cat isn't here Hello. Oh, and the the sound of it, um, you only hear it when it's very close to you as far as it's walking around sound. So I think the sound does you start to hear its footsteps at like twenty meters and it it's linear, it gets louder as it gets closer to you. And it's got some different creepier sounds. The spirit box is a whole different sound. Um, it's all asmr -y sort of a thing. So instead of, you know, that electronic voice of like hurt, attack, whatever, it, it'll it say, I'm behind you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so and then, creepy. <laughs> and then you can like, like in this game, where you can tell if something's on the right or the left, or you know, mm -hmm. is it like that? Oh yeah, yeah. You so can... when it says it's behind you, it sounds yeah. like it's behind you. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah, if you're wearing headphones, it is so freaking creepy. Oh my gosh. Well, as long as we're waiting. <laughs> One thing I do miss is all the little toys and stuff that we had in retail. <laughs> well, do you remember, I think it was during Wrath of the Lich King, when they came out with the toy train set? Yes, and you could kill it with... Um... The Mini XT, I think it was. Or some sort of a train stomper. Yeah. Like they came out with the train set, drove everyone nuts, and then they came up with the remedy for it that you could also buy. Just crush it on somebody. Oh. I 
I can't wait till I can uh, get my button to outland and fly, because I Here have been waiting for the opportunity to do the RAR bomb. You can do it right now. You can no, do you it gotta, right now. You gotta fly. <laughs> it resists my taunt. I can't do anything to this <laughs> thing. Oh, I finally got fairy fire on it. All right, I guess I'm going cat form then. <laughs> Can I get some shreds in? <laughs> you know what? I'm healing. My spells get resisted. I'm just absolutely worthless against this. <laughs> Alright, these guys I can hit. Of course, these guys she can flatten, so... Oh, well. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Uh... Did I already get the loot? Needed this guy. Wait. You're looking for the raptor, right? Tethys? Oh no, I thought this was the panther. Oh, the panther's on the other side. Ah, fucking A. I need by the Clara. um By the ogres. Well, lead on if you know where that is. Um, well, at least you needed this. By the um, uh, okay, I think I roughly know where that is. So, do you know where you're going? Because I'm just following you. I pretend knowing. Oh, God, you're doing that thing I do. You just run somewhere with confidence and people will assume you know what you're doing. See. Hey. I will not climb this. Okay. <laughs> Thought I was going to pull that off. I don't think we're meant to get up there. It's kind of the mountain range. Or is there a path along that and we're just trying to shortcut our way up to it? There usually there is. Oh, man. Yeah, that ain't it. Oh, I see it on the mini map, though. <laughs> I'm done so running in front. I kind of wanted to bypass these guys because they're. See? They just come at you from, like, too far away. See that tree? Uh -huh. See, I told you I knew where I was going. Uh-huh. That tree bridge? I knew all That's along. That's where you gotta go. Stop dodging. Wow. If I can't figure out directions by where the squirrel sits on the fence post, then I'm lost. <laughs> directions by where the squirrel sits on the fence post? Yep. Not right. <laughs> like the tree? The tree is where the um, shadow panther is. Gotcha. Well, that's how Daryl described it, because when I moved out to the city from the sticks, I'd get lost over everything because I'm not used to, I or I wasn't used to freeways and following right. road signs. It just, you know, you go 10 houses past this stop sign on on this street and 
where the squirrel sits on the fence post and you'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> where where's she going? Do we need to be following her? Um, she might be going after flowers. <laughs> oh. Frickin' but... herbalists. Uh oh. Usually Oh yeah, I'm a hunter. Oh, hey. I'm a hunter, I can track. Oh, that's a problem when you pay play too many alts. <laughs> Forget what the hell. So that's why you just gotta be a druid. It can already do everything, and then that's all you gotta know. Can you track? I could track there humanoids. He there he is, she got him. This is getting out of hand though. No. I don't think she meant to acquire two happened to be nearby. Although she flattened him, so I guess what's it matter? <laughs> right. Alright, so where am I with So what wait, what what was the one that we killed? It's the one you're gonna need after this guy. I think. Did you get Tethys? Th th I, I got the Fang of Bagthera. I've got Raptor Mastery. I don't have any more Tiger Mastery. Wasn't that a tiger? Oh, uh, I think he's, um, after all the Masteries are done, he's like oh, the granddaddy of them all. Okay. Well, fudge. All right, I've still got, so after this... I've got Raptor Mastery. I gotta do 10 Jungle Stalkers. Nice. And then nice. I think we'll do their top one. When I hit 40, oh. not only are all of my dungeon items gonna be getting a little bit out of date, but uh, I'm gonna change specs so they'll all be the wrong stats on them anyway. So that's going to be my big expenditure when I hit 40. Is It's going to cost me 5 gold to respec to Moonkin, and then i got to buy a whole new set of armor and weapons and everything. Oh, Does it come cap on. Out? Did you get stuck? Knocked me off my mount. Are you still running? No, I got dismounted. I'm just going to kill this thing real quick. It's a 30. Well, it's a 30. I'm coming. <laughs> well, I put fairy fire on it. <laughs> Didn't even have the chance to build up enough um, energy to do a single attack. There's, um... Every time you respec, does it max out at five gold? No. I, can't, I couldn't remember. It just keeps going up. It keeps it? going up. I think the cap is like 50 gold. Do you remember when we used to try to raid Kara? Karazan and... I don't... You know, I don't remember. Did you... Were you in Chaos... What was that guild's name? Oh, yeah. Chaos something. Factor? Yes, Chaos Factor. Were you in that with me? Yes. Okay, so you were there. They would have me respec mid-fight. Like, we would do oh, a boss, yes. and then I would have to go respec. I would drop 50, to, or I would drop 100 gold a night swapping between balance and, uh, shoot. I think I was, yeah, I think I was an off-tank, so I was doing some feral. That cost a fortune every freaking week. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> every week I had to raise. It was either 50 or 100 gold. Oh, it had to be 100 gold because I'd have to go back. So we would do a couple bosses. I needed to be uh, balanced. And then we would do a couple more and I would need to be feral. 
I have lost track of. Oh, there's. Which trappers do you mean? These Jungle guys? stalkers. Not these guys. Something bigger. <laughs> She's so funny. She's like, she never used add-ons before. She's like, you you know, just never used them. Mm -hmm. And then somebody in the guild showed her Questy. Oh, so oh. then, <laughs> then I got it, and she got it, and then now she's like, oh my gosh, I can't play without Questy. And <laughs> look at her. Okay, where's the big raptors? Over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to kind of play it with, like, my mindset has been, all right, what were the add-ons that were available back then? Because I'm just kind of trying to recreate the experience as much as I can. Uh, do we? There was some sort of quest. Quest there helper? Was... Yeah. Was it the... literally called oh. quest helper? I think so. They weren't really creative with their stuff back then. No. Ooh, I pissed them off. I caught a crit on my shred and spun them right around. Yeah, do you remember Tom Tom, where you would have to pick your waypoints on the map and then it would uh, lock in on that? Yeah. So you'd have to know where you were going specifically, like you didn't get the ooh boy. You didn't get the benefit of uh it knowing where you needed to go. Yeah, you just put okay, a Okay, well, that. I've looked it up and I think it's here, so I'll click the map and it'll set a waypoint. Like you couldn't have figured that out for yourself. That seemed like a big deal. Oh yeah, it was a huge deal. And it would have a big arrow, big red arrow that would spin over your head, so as you turned around, it would show which way you needed to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you remember they put that uh, in-game calendar in, too? Well, is she just going to round them all up? Because these guys oh, yeah, are getting that's... a little dangerous for us, aren't they? <laughs> well, it's usually how we play, because, you know, I'm usually running the tank, and she's running the heel, so we just go all crazy, or else... I'll have my mage out, and I have her, so, um, um, oh, he's getting me. My mage, I have it, um, so I can just pull a ton and just burn him down. Ah. AoE leveling back for her. So... <laughs> Sometimes we forget when we're little, like, like running tunes that can't heal, can't tank. We're like, oops. Right. Oh, it, it's crazy the, the way that people just, it's been around for so long that everyone knows the game inside and out and that we've come up with such better ways to play it. Like the game was so hard the first time through and now you see like groups of five mages just taking out uh, stuff because they've min maxed the bejesus out of everything. Yeah. Like uh, uh, Scarlet Monastery getting absolutely just run by nothing but mages. It's like that was nothing we would have ever thought of back then. What the hell? No, never. You don't need a healer. You don't need a tank. You just need five mages to sit there and drop freaking Blizzard over and Did over it? and over. Wasn't. A mage tank, so to speak, needed for like Gruul's Lair. Gruul's Lair, yeah. What did they have to do? They had to spell steal a fire shield that he had, and that made it so that they could withstand his the damage that he would do, and only a fire mage could do it. Actually, I don't know it had to be a fire mage, but it definitely had to be a mage. It was, yeah, the, it was the only way that you could beat that guy. Like, no tank could take it because it was this, um, like, a melting armor debuff that he would stack on you unless you had that, unless you stole his shield 
and after it stacked up to five or six, it would kill even a absolutely decked out warrior. Like nothing could withstand it. But if you if you use that spell steal, then he couldn't stack it. Yeah. So that was the whole trick. Two more, two more. I remember how proud people were just to have one alt. Oh, yeah. Well, and you had to get I... your guild's permission to have an alt, too. Oh, yeah, because I remember the only reason why I ended up running with an alt is because we needed a healer. Mm hmm. Right, but a lot of times you get in with a guild and they needed you to be a certain thing and that's all you're allowed to do and you don't have time for anything else. I mean, you consider I had to raise 100 gold a week and I didn't have the benefit of Auctioneer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spent hours just grinding for everything and have to manipulate the auction house without the benefit of any data. I would just, I would latch on to something and I would corner the market. Like, I would buy it all out and then flip it. It's like, well, you know, I know this is a pain in the butt to get, and now I've got it all, so nobody's going to be able to replace that market. But mine's all for sale, so Here you, you guys go. can pay me. I mean, I kind of do the same thing now, but now I have better data for it. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll go turn this in. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Around this group. So what raids are active right now? You know, there's Kara. So Kara should be active. They just came out with... Uh, I think it's like Outland Overlords or something like that. Yeah. Uh... So I does that open up the Sunwell or Serpent? I, I think I think Sunwell no, and Serpent eye. Shrine. The eye, those ones. Okay. Oh the yeah. You're right. Sunwell wasn't. Is Sunwell Wrath? I can't remember. No. No. Shoot. Well, the Sunwell had to do with Blood Elves, so that's got to be Burning Crusade, but that might be later. I remember that was a big deal because it was a brand new island, brand new questing area. Right. Eye of the Maybe. Storm or something, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think Eye of the Storm was the battleground that comes in. Battleground, yeah. Oh, it's AV weekend, too. That used to be uh, such a big deal. Oh my gosh, AV weekend! I yes, I loved AV. I used to just absolutely mess with people too, because it wasn't just that whole you know bum rush the uh, end boss, and everyone blows yeah. past each other. <clears throat> so you'd get the horde kind of turtling somewhere in the middle, and I would just pop stealth and sneak by, and get to <laughs> one of their towers, and I could take out the one or two people that were there, as long as it wasn't heavily defended. So I'd take it yeah. myself, and then they'd have to come back and, you know, they'd send five or ten people after that to go, you know, clear me out. But I would just, I wouldn't sit there and try to hold it. I would take it, stealth, and then hide somewhere away. They would come reclaim it, and then most of them would leave, and they'd leave, like, one guy behind. And then I'd go kill him, and then just take it again. I just kept pulling their guys off from the, the battlefield, basically. Just kept being a distraction. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Or 
where I'd run another move I would do is something similar to that, but I would bounce back and forth between two towers and just keep taking them alternately. <laughs> yeah. I would have guys just chasing me all over the place. And I mean, it, you know, I have travel form, I have stealth, I have all these abilities to kite people, so I was very good at getting away and getting in and out of sticky situations. Even if I wasn't necessarily always going to win the fight, I could survive the fight and screw with them. And a lot of times that was all it took to win. Great yeah. to meet you. Great to meet you. Ooh, the Raptor Hunter Tunic. A fantastic feral item that I'm going to be losing in one level and three bars. See you soon. All right, the next Raptor Mastery is... Freaking red. Talon Tethys? of Telthus. Tethys. Telthus. Tethys. Oh, so I boosted my uh, Discord server. Now I have, like, ability to have emotes and stickers and stuff. I've got to come up with some. That you can create yourself? Yeah. How do you boost? I, I saw that, actually. So um, I got myself a, uh, a Nitro subscription thing. So basically, mm -hmm. it's it's the paid version of Discord. Wow, it's just a group of people. That was unsettling. Um, yeah, so it's basically paid, and when you do that, the version that I got comes with two boosts. You can pay for more. I think it's like, I don't know, five bucks a boost after that or something like that. Um, but at two boosts, you can boost up your server to get these extra things so I've done that but basically I did it initially just because I wanted to upload pictures from my trip and they were over their uh, file size limit because it was so small oh yeah so in order to get like I don't know what I needed 15 or 25 whatever it is um, megabyte limit I just did that boost and now I can do it so hooray <clears throat> and also it gives me 1080p 60 60 fps um streaming so movie night gets a little bit clearer pretty nice so anything that we stream on discord will or well in that server will have that extra boost so we're not 720p anymore uh you know where we're going right behind the arena Oh, yeah. You know, played this game years ago, and just the stuff that comes back to you. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I, I think I started playing towards the end of 2.1. It was, because I remember 2.2 came out just a couple of weeks after I started playing. And 2.2 is where they had the voice chat, in-game voice chat. I was like, man, this is game changing. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was total crap. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I don't have to type everything to the people I'm playing with. Right. And then Pedaling, once Vent came out. Oh, you're yeah. Begging for. Taking up a collection from for... your guildies. Yeah. And now this shit's free. <laughs> I know. having to come up. you remember uh, sitting and designing a guild website oh my gosh yes I spent hours hours designing that friggin website whatever happened to it oh it's down it's it's long since been down but it uh, I don't know maybe if you, you googled it with the wayback machine you might be able to find a cached version I still remember there was a picture that we had. Um, it was one of the one of the dungeons In from Crusade. Burning Crusade. I think it was Sethic Halls. Uh, we need to go around this the other way. 
Yeah, I remember we were we were taking screenshots. We were all proud of something. Yeah, so it we were was standing by the boss. <laughs> well, we had a couple that were in there. One, the one that's coming to my mind was when um, Dunder had died, and he was like, somehow his body glitched, and he ended up landing on this this uh, big bonfire that was burning, and he was sprawled across it. Like he was floating oh above it horizontally. It looked like he was. It looked like he was jumping over it or something, like a Superman punch over it. But we had one boss fight. Oh, th yeah, the one we were proud of. So it was some big blue elemental. I don't remember what the name of it was, but. We had completely wiped, but I still had a moonfire dot that was ticking on it, and it died to that after I was yes. the last one to die. And so we had a wipe, but it was our first time clearing that thing. <laughs> we, everyone in Vent lost it at that point. I remember that. Everyone yeah. absolutely friggin' flipped out. I don't see him on my map. Uh, it's more around the back side. I think we gotta keep going. Where's this dude going? Uh, Stop turning around. <laughs> oh, I, I just cannot stand the melee hunter. Hey, did they close the uh, the dead zone, or did they leave that in for authenticity? For what? For authenticity. Do you remember the close. hunter dead zone? No. What do you mean? So you have a, a certain distance. It's like 40 yards to 20, or like 18 yards, I think, is ranged. And then 15 yeah. to 0 was melee, and there was this gap from 15 to 18 yards where hunters couldn't do anything. Oh, I don't know. So you would have people that were good at kiting. Like, sometimes um, mages could jerk around hunters real bad and never be able to get hit by them. Just yeah. by keeping them at that specific range. And they could still cast. Like, nobody else had that issue. It was just a hunter failing. It was the hunter dead zone and it was just this absolutely OP way to annihilate hunters. I don't remember that. They got rid of it at some point. They brought ranged in much closer. <clears throat> and then I think eventually they made it so hunters could always shoot at any range, didn't they? Yes, in retail you can. In this, no. No, yeah. But I think that I'm sure they've done away with the uh, the gap on this. There's no way they're going to just leave that in. This seems bad. No. Well, I was about to heal her, but she got herself. Okay. What? I've got the spell. I'm using it. Macros? No, I haven't done a lot of the macros. I've got... Um, I did make one for my warrior that actually was useful, but all I have, honestly, right now is my train. <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, shoot. She picked up two. I've got one. Oh, what? and I'm just wandering. Uh... uh uh, I think she realizes the <laughs> problem she's causing right now. That's it. I'm going travel for him. I'm out. No! Come <laughs> back! <laughs> we need some Betty Hill music. I don't want to get know, a copyright strike, though. Oh my gosh, now, look at it. Yeah. Look what you guys caused. 
We got all of them. Well, there's only two now. We could fight these guys. That's right. Go for her. Expose your back. Wait. Oh shoot! I pissed him off. I hit him too hard. Good. Keep him at range. I'm trying to stay out of combat because I know I'm going to get three behind me and then I'm going to get dazed up. There we go. <laughs> How many else? How many others we got? I'll work on this stupid gator. At least it's closer to level appropriate for me. I can probably hurt it a bit. quest. Let me just go right along the uh, edge here. Now this this being a red quest, with any luck, it'll give me a crap ton of experience. I'm two bars out from 39. Oh, yeah, it should. Well, and if it doesn't, you'll probably only be like a few kills from it. Right. I gotta remember, water dismounts you. When did they do away to... with that? What's that? Water dismounting you. Like in retail, if you know. run into the water with your mount, you stay on your mount, right? Mm-hmm. Is that Wrath of Lich King that did that, or maybe Cataclysm? I don't know. I'm gonna clean up the jungle here while you're turning in the um. Okay. Stuff. Your quest. And then you Whoop. should have that first one that we did with that um white tiger. That's a horde spot. <laughs> oh yeah! Watch out for the horde. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'll use my water form to get around this nonsense. Do you see me? If I see your panel light up, I'll know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I was working on a, a quest with my oldest, and it was one where you had to like dive down to some underwater temple thing, and there's murlocs that were attacking. Oh, yeah, that place. So she keeps just getting killed because she's basically drowning or being beaten to death. She doesn't have any real options either way. But I've got water form, so I can throw a heal on myself. I could stay down there indefinitely, just swap back into aquatic form <laughs> to catch my breath and then, you know, keep going. She has to keep returning to the surface, and oh no. It's a long ways. Stay away, stay away. I'm not running you. Yeah, it was a long way down, too. So you like you had to commit, because you'd lose half your breath on the way down and back up. And then you had to have enough time to fight them. And if you picked up two, you don't have enough time. But they'd be ranged, so she was, you know, a, a rogue. She has to get up close. So even if you try body pulling them or shooting at them, you, you, she's got to get down there. They won't come up to you. They'll just stay at range and cast spells. She was having a hell of a time with that. It's like I like to hide in the shadows. Okay, well, 
I like to be a shapeshifter that can do everything, so, you know. Yeah. To each his own. I'll never top the DPS meters, but I can do everything, so, you know. And I you enjoy I, playing. Yeah, I just like to play utility bitch, basically. Yeah. I think he, the, a druid. Well, I do. What's I do have a max mind? level druid in retail, but only for farming. I never, you know, ran dungeons with it or anything. Save but troubles. That's one character that I could not get into, and I'll probably blame you for ruining it for me because <laughs> I never. I always knew that I could never keep up to your skill level of the druid and if I tried then I'd just be like hiding nope nope no druid here druids are a fun a... puzzle you have to you have to always be trying to think outside the box so you didn't Warriors enjoy the druid too. nope I... Right, no, now I've got I the think... White Tiger quest. Okay. I'm heading that way. I think my retail druid is balanced. I, I never really gave um, Daryl a try. I never yeah, understood I'll... why everybody gave uh, Druid such a bad rap until I actually got to try Vanilla. And then I ah. understood. Like, it wasn't that Druids were bad in Burning Crusade. They were amazing in Burning Crusade. It was that people saw them in Vanilla and thought, this is what they are. They're garbage. Yeah. It, the only way I could play that was Feral and... I hated Feral in Burning Crusade. I loved Moonkin. And Moonkin was complete trash in vanilla. I tried that out. I'm like, oh, oh, I get it. Now I understand. All the people that gave me grief, they had seen what druids were in vanilla, and they just assumed that's how it was. And it's not like anybody picked it up. It was a very unpopular class. I was like, I don't I never understood that because at the time I was like, man, I do really well with these things. I don't know yeah. what everyone's problem is i mean yeah you got to kind of pay attention to your mana but a mage will run out of mana too it's not like they have limitless you know no it for that <clears throat> but yeah you cast like three or four spells and you're spent it's like oh this is terrible what is the point Like I would, I would actually have to plan it where I was balanced, but I'm also kind of feral, because you cast about four spells, and that like four uh, star fires, and you could get a moon fire off, <clears throat> and then you have enough mana where it's like, okay, either this thing's gonna die in one more hit, and I can cast it. Or if it's not going to die in one more hit, I need to use the last of my mana to go into cat form so I can still hurt it. So you always had to have that reserve and you had to be watching. Like, how much do I have and can I get into a feral form to survive? Yeah, because you're, you're like always bouncing around from one spec to another. Yep. Oh, yeah, you... although I did make a um, a druid. I do have a druid. It's level one. Still sitting in the starting area. <laughs> the first ten levels of druid are absolutely just terrible. <clears throat> it's like, here, hit things with your staff. Oh, I will never do this again, though. What is the point? <clears throat> They really should have buffed their their spells and just make them balance for the first ten levels. You don't. You're a mage. That's it. You're a mage for the first ten levels. 
Just do that. And then you get your feral bear form. And then you do that. Do you want me to tank this dude? That way you can stay at range. Well, I would have, but resisted. Resists everything I do. Wow, okay, I'm going back to cat form. I can't do anything. I know, all I see is miss, resist, miss, resist. Kidding me, I'm out of mana too. Oh well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Still haven't gone ding. I will definitely go ding when I turn this in. All right, so it took close to two hours to knock out half a level. <laughs> oh, God. So forever. at the rate that I'm playing this of two hours, one night a week, it's going to take me two more weeks to hit 40. The game oh will be over gosh. before I ever get to 70 at that rate. Well, how long did it take the first time? I think a long time. I didn't Damn play I didn't year. play it dedicated like that though until um until I got into raiding, then I kinda got the bug. I think I think it, it took like me well nine so months or something? So I started playing in two point one just before two point two came out and I hit seventy while people were playing uh I think Black Temple had come out. So what is that? Two four? Mm, I don't I don't remember those points and stuff. Uh, let's see. Two point four. Two point four. Oh, it's two point four. Yeah, it was Sunwell. Yeah. Okay, and that dropped March of 08. Okay. And then I started playing in 2.1. How do you even remember May of 07. That? Oh, I How do I memorize the patches? Oh. <laughs> Well, you'll remember I was the big nerd that was always reading the patch notes, and I would discuss them with people. Oh yeah. Like I still read the pa like patch notes on Phasmophobia. I'm always all over that. I do a video on them sometimes too, when they're sufficient. Hi. I don't remember all of them. Like I remember two point one, two point two. Um, I vaguely remember two point three and two. I basically I remember the Burning Crusade ones, and then. I don't know any of them after that, other than the major numbers are just the expansions. Really? I get a bow or a gun. It's great for a druid. Yeah, that bow was a 33% upgrade for me. <laughs> well, they're both worth about a gold to the vendor, <laughs> so... I'm going to disenchant them anyway. Watch your back. There's the ding. Congrats! A solid 39. I'll pointlessly spend my talent point in the feral tree before I recall it in the next level. What level is your enchanting? My enchanting is garbage. Uh, 100. Oh, okay. Because my mage has enchanting, it's two, 200 something. So, if you need any of the lower level mats, I, I probably have a bunch. Ah. Yeah, the lower levels I can use. <laughs> Some of the stuff I've gotten tonight, I can't disenchant. <laughs> oh, God, I suck.
that always drove me nuts though when we were playing uh the family for dungeons is they would they would be rolling for the greens and then they would vendor them that was they you know th their way of getting Help extra money something? and for me it's always yeah but i have to disenchant all be of that careful. and then repeatedly enchant the same bracers with plus one <laughs> stamina it's like, oh right. god i'm just hemorrhaging money here back in the day playing Tuli would always sit on my head or my shoulder and then the last couple of years she got away from doing that and last night she came to visit me and i put her on my shoulder and she just sat there i'm like oh my gosh she's sitting on my shoulder so i took a picture and sent it to my daughter i'm like look at this check out miss stuck up sitting on my shoulder and then five minutes after that i sent my daughter a picture of a bloody face <laughs> oh she got me so good Ugh. so good i swear i could probably stick a something right through my nose she, oh, oh, was that it was, is that that white bird that you posted the photo of no that's my african gray the oh. smaller one oh it's just oh. <laughs> oh, it, it still hurts <laughs> I was just reminded of it because it felt like I had a sneeze I'm like oh no please don't sneeze oh, that's a piercing from hell oh it was 